Let's check in now with Janelle Walton, who spent the day talking with family members. Janelle, what do you have for us this evening? Well, Clyde, it was those very attacks you talked about, those two bombings at his home in Birmingham, Alabama, back in the late 50s and the 60s there that brought his family here to Cincinnati. And his son-in-law says it wasn't because he wanted to leave his hometown. His wife actually kind of had a conversation with him. She talked to him and, and convinced him by saying the best reason to come to Cincinnati was to further the education of their four children, to give them a better chance. And they all ended up being educators right here in Cincinnati. So their legacy will continue on as well as their fathers. Reverend Shuttlesworth lived out his last days with his second wife, Safira, in Birmingham, Alabama. His son-in-law says he was surrounded by his four children, three daughters, and one son when he closed his eyes for the last time. The last moments were last night. Uh, he'd never gained consciousness. Uh, last time they gave him some morphine. And she, my wife said he'd start sleeping a little deeper and a little better. And uh, they were singing to him. Bester says his children almost missed those last moments, but decided to drive to Alabama yesterday instead of on Thursday. Shuttles were fought beside reverends Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Ralph Abernathy, Joseph Lowry, and others for desegregation in the South. Bester says he once spoke to his father-in-law about any possible regrets he had during his fight for equal rights. He, he thought he lost his family, but he didn't lose his family. Uh, but he told me uh, to always love my family. You know, always uh, treat, treat your wife right. You know, he, he just gave me good advice. Some of the things that he could not do because he was, he was saving the world. There is a room in the church that is filled with mementos honoring Shuttlesworth's legacy. Keys to cities, pictures of Shuttlesworth with King, and one with President Clinton at the White House. As far as his legacy, um, now that he's moved on, what do you think he would want it to be? That he went around doing good, trying, trying to help uh, the poor, it didn't matter whether you're black or white, the poor, the disadvantaged, the least, the less, the lost, those who don't have. You remember uh, he had a, a, a Shuttlesworth Housing Foundation to help poor people uh, buy their first house. You know, so he, he had a great legacy. And Bester went on to say that Reverend Shuttlesworth, his second wife, who he married back in 2007, has decided to hold his funeral in Birmingham, Alabama, where he was born. That is also where he is going to be laid to rest. But his kids, they were down there with him when he passed away just before noon today. Now, here in Cincinnati, Reverend Bester, who took over in 2006 after Reverend Shuttlesworth retired here from the church right behind me, the new Baptist, Greater Baptist Light Church here. They're going to actually try to have a service here as well, but it's going to be a memorial service after the funeral. Those plans are still pending, and he says also the funeral plans in Birmingham, Alabama, they are still working on th those arrangements as well tonight, Clyde, but we'll, of course, keep following that, and we'll bring you up to date.